everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica, and on this Sunday we have something completely not video game related, and that is an unboxing of Llamas Unleashed. We'll be doing some board game unboxings here every other Sunday, every once in a while, just for fun. So if you're into that, let us know in the comments below. We definitely love to hear your feedback. Short of that, let's get started. I do love how small the Llamas Unleashed box is. It's got a lot of great artwork on the side. But my wife and I, with a lot of friends, we will go to bar patios and kind of bring some games along with us. And it's always great when you have something in a small box. I do love all the different pencil illustrations of the llamas on the side. And it's definitely a great time for me to pick this up because my wife and I just got back from Peru and there are llamas and alpacas everywhere there. They are really cute in real life and on the cards, they're even cuter. So definitely that was a lot of fun to see. So the box in general, like I said, is quite small. Definitely fit in a bag or, you know, backpack, anything like that, so you can bring it along with you. And I was trying to figure out how to get in the box. I thought it just slid out, but I was happy to see that they actually use some magnets on the front to hold the game case down. I've definitely had games before where you put the game in a bag and when you get where you're going, half the pieces of all scatter just because the box doesn't secure well. So I like that a lot. Got the manual here and two sets of cards. Definitely a really small package and I'm into that. The cards are wrapped so nothing's loose in the box. And the rule book, definitely small, not too many rules, definitely easy to pick up and play it seems like. But it is something that folds down nice so you can just unfold it when you need to check a rule and then fold it right back up and pop it in the box when you're not using it. Get a couple diagrams here for the cards because they all are color coded, but definitely a nice rule book for sure. So here is one of the sets of cards and here is the other one. They do have color coding for different glasses and different types of cards so it is really easy to see. And you get these couple fun little illustrations of the llamas in the box. I really do like all the attention to detail that was put into this particular game. There's a lot of different illustrations that are fun to look at and find all across the entire box. I like that the basic llama's next stop is Barcelona, not Barcelona. And the really weird thing is my wife and I were also in Barcelona this spring. So this game touches on a lot of different travel we've done throughout the year. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to play with her. When you do get into the cards, they are really nice quality. They feel like a high quality playing card, almost like something you'd have in a casino if you spend a lot of money on your playing cards. So I definitely think they're gonna hold up really well. You got your basic llama, your basic goat, your basic alpaca, and even your basic ram. So you have different classes of characters but my favorite is definitely the swashbuckling llama with a sword in his teeth. Got totes my goats here as well, and the fun part about the cards, what I've seen so far, is they have kind of like a kitschy sort of relevance to them that's a lot of fun. Totes my goats is something that I think I've heard my mother-in-law say a few times. It's just kind of like a funny little thing to have there. I like all the cards, they're super colorful, everything seems really fun, they definitely did a great job on this and I am super excited to play the game. And there are a lot of cards. Definitely seems like something too that if you have kids, you know, I can play this with my nephews. It's got enough in jokes that adults are going to be into it, but it's definitely super kid friendly as well. You got the Apocalypse right there, giant alpaca kind of hitting laser beams and going right into Llama Bot 3000. Just showing a few of my favorite cards right here. I also have the Bahama Llama floating down a river with a little tiki drink on his stomach. That's super fun. And at the bottom, you get all the descriptions of what those different characters are going to be doing for you. And you get that little color code at the top left corner to easily identify it. Next, we have these two. Illuminati or Alaminati and Ghost Feratu. So you have a vampire in there and there's definitely a breeding component because you have stud life and that card when I saw it definitely made me audibly laugh out loud. So I am super excited to see exactly what the stud life baby llama is all about. But there you go that's Llamas Unleashed. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave some comments down below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you're into it. Let us know what you think about these board game unboxings. Short of that we'll be back on Tuesday with another mainline entry in our series on video games. But you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.